contact has been lost with the guardians of Aristus Frontiers, the Black Arrows of Fort Tyrannic. The search for the missing rangers reveals the homestead of an inbred family of brutal ogrekin. Put an end to these cruel dullards and their corpulent mother, Grammy Grawl. All right, here we are at the first scenario for the Hook Mountain Massacre. And this one is Dim Ogres Ain't Right. And it says, during this scenario, if you defeat a henchman, place it in a stack next to this card. The difficulty to defeat Mammy Grawl is increased by one per card in this stack. Um, and then we've got our locations laid out here. And uh, Carmen, you want to start? Turtleback Fairy. At the end of your turn, you may move. And when closing, banish an item. When permanently closed, <clears throat> on closing, draw a random item from the box. All right. And then we have the farmhouse, which we're familiar with. Uh, if you would discard an ally, bury it instead. When closing, summon and defeat a random monster. And there's no effect for mm. when, when closed. We got the woods, and it says undefeated monsters other than villains and henchmen are banished. Succeeded a wisdom or survival six check. Then we have the wooden bridge, and it says you may discard two cards to evade an encounter. And it says succeed at a dexterity or stealth six check. When permanently closed, when you end your turn here, you may bury a card from your hand to recharge a card from your discard pile. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, is that uh, now that we are in the Hook, Mo Hook Mountain Massacre uh, scenario, it says that um, after you begin the Hook Mountain Massacre, whenever you banish a Bane... With the basic trait, remove it from the game. Whenever you banish a boon with the basic trait, you may remove it from the game. After you begin Sins of the Savior, do the same with the elite traits. So, um, whenever we banish a bane, they will be completely removed out of the game and we'll never see them again. So, uh, Carmen, where are you thinking you're going to start? <clears throat> uh, well, I was thinking the farmhouse because uh, I like that idea that... Okay. I'm going to go to the Turtleback Fairy, then. Oh, I put my card there instead of my... Alright, I had a pretty good draw. I got two weapons. Rats. Alright, so uh, you want to go first or second? I'll let you go first. Alright, here I go. Alright, right off the bat, I run into a Goblin Commando. He is a Combat 9. Before the encounter, the Goblin Commando deals one ranged combat damage to you. Um, I will reveal my Magic Shield, and it says reveal this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by two. Uh, so I'll just reveal that. So I receive no damage, which means I'll put it right back in my hand, too. Um, let's see. So he has a Combat 9, and there's nothing wacky for me here. So, all right, let's see. Um, I have my Sip. Which is a, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee, plus two d4s plus one. So that'll give me, I've got a normal plus six, this will be a plus seven. I only have to get a two, Goblin Commando, you have been defeated. So, alright. <laughs> that was easy. Yep, so right. I didn't even have to get rid of my weapon either. <clears throat> uh, okay. Short sword plus one, okay. So that is a strength melee 7. What is your strength melee? A d8. Alright, well, see what you can do, I guess. And you got and it. And <laughs> I did not get it. Alright, so we'll put that over here. And y'all done? Yes. Alright. Okay, Ilisari Ganthesis. He is an intelligence arcane 7 or a charisma diplomacy 6. All right, so my Charisma Diplomacy is a D6 plus 2. So if I roll a 4, I got him. And I oh, got him! Right. This is the guy who will turn into the Sandpoint Devil. I want to fight you! Okay, um, he says that during your turn, reveal this card and put it on top of your deck to examine the top card of your location deck. If it is a monster, you may shuffle that monster back into the location deck. After you play this card, roll 1D12. On a 1, summon and encounter the villain, the Sandpoint Devil. Dude. I so want to <laughs> fight him. Okay, so I can reveal it, and then I can put it on... During your turn, reveal this card and put it on top of your deck. So I'm going to reveal it. I'm going to put it on top of my deck to examine the top card of my deck. Okay. All right, so it's a spell. Uh -huh. All right. It says, 
If if it's a monster, you may shuffle that monster back into the location deck. So after you play this card, roll 1d12 on a 1. Summon and encounter the Sandpoint Devil. Damn. <laughs> I'm like Natsu. Come on, fight me! <laughs> Alright, so he stays, I guess, on top of my deck, though. So, Alright, and then you can flip that back over. It doesn't say I actually encounter it. So, Alright, I gotta flip your blessing. Go ahead. Now, don't forget, at the end of your turn, you may move. Yeah. Warlord? All right, so he has a combat nine, and it says the difficulty to defeat the Warlord is increased by the adventure deck number of the current scenario, if any. Subtract one from each die rolled in your check to defeat the Warlord. So, uh, that would actually make him a 12, a combat 12. Okay. So, I will do my dexterity with my returning throwing axe, which is a d8 plus one. And you are fighting by yourself. Um, let's see. Uh, I can just recharge my returning throwing axe uh, for another D6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then that'll give you another plus one as well. So that'll give you a plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, correct? Uh -huh. Okay. Let's do this. So you just got to get a eight. And he's done. All right. Goodbye, Warlord. So you've defeated the Warlord. All right, y'all done? Yes. All right. All right, so it's Detect Evil. It is a Wisdom Divine 4. My Wisdom is a D4, so let's see. Poo! And I got a 1. All right. Goodbye, Detect Evil card. All right. All right, Carmen. <clears throat> A it's sage. a sage. A Wisdom 7 or a Charisma Diplomacy 6? My Charisma is a D6. I can also recharge this card to add one D6 to my check to acquire an ally. Okay. You got her. Yay. You going to hang on to her or are you going to use her? Uh, I'm going to hang on to her because okay. now I can um, possibly close another location. The, the reason I started here was wisdom. that I could close it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, a guard. He has a Charisma Diplomacy 6 or a Constitution Fortitude 4. My, con my Constitution is a D8. Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, Charisma Diplomacy. And I rolled a 3 with my plus 2, so that'd be a 5, so he goes away. Okay. All right, your turn. So I think I will move since I can close this location now. Okay. Ooh, a throwing axe. All right, so it's a dexterity range six. All right. And uh, you have dexterity plus two, so yeah. Um, you just got to roll a four. And you got, got it. it. All right, so it says for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your dexterity or range die plus 1d6. You may instead discard this card to add another 1d6 if you aren't proficient with weapons, blah, 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 blah. It's not as good as my mm -hmm. other weapons. Nope, so. no. <clears throat> um... Well, you can try, well, I don't know. I don't know. I would I would still have to discard my blessing. I think I'll just discard this. Mm -hmm. All right. You all done? Yes. Well, oddly enough, um, by looking at the back of the card, it looks like I'm about to run into something new because look how the different color of the backs are on the cards. And it's a blessing of the gods. It wasn't so something new. Maybe it wasn't. No, well, see, it also has wear on the card right there. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Maybe well, that's something new. The, good th <laughs> the cool thing is I just automatically get this. Um, so I'm just going to use it. And explore and again. And explore again. Okay. Okay, a warlord. And, uh, well, we kind of already went over what all he does, didn't we? Um, so he will be a combat 12. And I will use my... I use my Sith again. Um, the only thing is that you subtract one from each die rolled from, to defeat him. So yeah, that so it's sticks, better not so. to roll so many yeah, dice. Yeah, maybe I'll use the Flaming Mace. So it says, for your combat check, reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d8 plus 1. So um, I'll roll a d10, then I will get a d8, and then I have a plus 7. So I would have to roll a 5 then with these two dice, correct? Yep. So, if I wanted to, I could add another d4. But actually, I'd have to roll a, um, I'd have to roll a seven with these two dice because uh, I'm rolling. Uh, I have to subtract one from each die. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. 
So I got a 10, 11, 12. There you go. So subtract 2, that put it, or actually, yeah, uh, he's defeated, whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? All right. Passageway. So this is a Wisdom, Perception, Dexterity, Acrobats, 9. If defeated, you may immediately explore again. If undefeated, you are dealt 2d4 combat damage. All right, so what is your... Dexterity Acrobats. That's a plus four, ain't it? Yes. So you just got to roll a five with a d12 as it stands? Yes. Okay. Um, reveal this card to add one to your Dexterity checks, and I have to roll a four. Okay. The Snake Skin Tunic. And you did it. Okay. There you go. So if defeated, you may immediately explore again. So let's pull that off. Go ahead. A ghoul. Okay, and it says that he is a combat 11. The ghoul is immune to the mental and poison traits. If undefeated, reset your hand and in your turn. So. Okay. All right, so. I will get my d12. I'll use my light crossbow, which is a d8 plus 1. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> hmm, I could recharge something. Mm -hmm. I'll recharge this medallion. Okay, maybe. that'll give you an additional d6 plus 1. So you got a plus 4. So you just need to be able to get a seven with those three dice. Let's go do this. And he's defeated. Okay. Good job. Oops. Goodbye, ghoul. Holy candle. Holy, holy candle. Hey, that's one of the new blessings. That's kind of neat. Pretty. Looks like a shield. All right. Well, I ran into one of the new ones here. So this is the henchman. This is Grawl Organkin. And it says, uh, when you encounter... Oh, is it... Ogre Ken? Roll 1d4. Okay, well, let's see what... Yeah, he's Ogre four. I got a 2. So it says, okay. damage dealt by the Ogre Ken is increased by 2. So that's if he damages me. The basically. difficulty to decrease the Ogre Ken is increased by 2... Wait, you rolled a 2. Oh, yeah, I see, I yeah. See. So okay. it's number 2 line here. Got it. So the damage dealt by the Ogre Ken is, is increased by 2, so... All right, so I just need to get a combat 13 on him. So, all right, this shouldn't be that tough. So I'll use my Sith, and I'll get my D4. So I get two D4s, plus I will recharge it to get an additional D4. So that'll give me three D4s, plus my D10, and then I have a plus 7 as well. So I'd have to roll a 6 with four dice here. So uh, that's three, four... Five, six, there we go. Okay, so he's defeated. Um, so now I get a chance, if I wanted to, I can um, close that location by banishing a card. An item. Or is it an item? Yeah, you don't have oh, an item, do I you? I don't have an item. Oh, no. Goodness, I didn't realize that. I thought it was just banish a card. That was my own fault. I didn't pay attention. So, um, well, given that, I guess I can't close it down then, huh? All right. Okay. I'll draw him back up then. Go ahead. of Shaylin. Eyes of the Eagle. All right. We've wisdom seen perception those before. Five. My wisdom perception is a D6 plus three. And so I did not get it. <laughs> okay, you all done? Yeah. I'll just keep going on this, I guess. I don't know why. Okay, bracers of protection and intelligence arcane three. So you can close it. My intelligence is a D6. Um, so, no bracers of protection. Okay, you can um, move at the... Yeah, I'm going to move, yeah. I think. Um, or, yeah, because I still don't have an item, neither. Well, hang on. I could use him. He. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why would you want to use him there? <laughs> I don't know. I think I will move. I'm going to move uh, to the wooden bridge, I guess. Even though it's not really a good place for me. Okay, so yeah, I'll move to the wooden bridge. So we know that that place, the only problem is is that, you know, somebody could run over there, but there's only three parts. That's the good thing. So, okay, okay. your turn. Um, you probably should use that holy candle. Yeah. So. I'm wondering. What? If I should use it. Yeah. Or. Or what? How can you, how do you move? Because I could move over here. And banish the holy candle. Oh, then I wouldn't get it back. No. Okay. Okay. You, you want to go ahead and use it? Sure. All? Vary this card to shuffle 1d6 random cards from the Blessings discard pile into the deck. 
One. That nice was roller. nice. Nice roller, Sparky. <laughs> okay. I had already flipped your card, so. All right. Mercenary. Uh, that is the third mercenary we've... No, no, no. It was Warlord was the other time. Okay. Okay. So he says, the difficulty to defeat the mercenary is increased by the adventure deck number of the current scenario of any. So he is a 13, 13. to okay. defeat. Okay. Uh, well, I've got my light crossbow, which is a D8 plus 1. I've got a D12 plus 2. Um... This adds one, actually. Huh. Mm -hmm. I hadn't been using that in combat so Reveal far. Reveal the add one to your dexterity check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will... Huh. I don't think you use it for an actual dexterity. Well, because your weapon turned it into a dexterity, right? Yeah. Huh. Um, I'll recharge this one. Because I don't want to actually use it yet. <clears throat> so... Let's see, I've got a one, two, three, four, five. five. Plus five, and you just so that means you're gonna have to get eight. You got it. Good job. Alright, so he has been defeated. And now it's my turn. Alright, a tickwood boar, and he's a combat eight. Says before the encounter succeeded a wisdom or survival seven check, or the difficulty to defeat the tickwood boar is increased by two. So that'll make you make ten. All right, so I'll use my flaming mace and uh, crispy bacon. Yeah, so that'll give me a plus seven. Um, all I need to do is just roll. Uh, there, he's defeated. Okay. All right, so back to you, Karma Corn. Alrighty. Goblin warrior. All right, so a combat nine. If undefeated, bury one. Random item or weapon from your discard pile. So, all right, combat nine. I'll use my heavy crossbow. So that is a D10. Is this a D10? Uh huh. That and then you get a D12. In a while. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now, what shall I recharge? Uh, I could recharge my light crossbow since I have my heavy crossbow now. So that's going to give you a plus three, so you just got to roll a six with three dice. I got to roll five with three dice. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Man, roll two boom, ones. Boom, Jeesh. Oh, okay. wow. You all done? Yes. All right, a trapped passageway. Wisdom, perception, dexterity, acrobats, nine. If defeated, you may immediately explore again. If undefeated, you are dealt 2d4 combat damage, so... Oh boy, not good. Um, I'm not good at dexterity. My dexterity is only a D8. Uh, so I automatically am going to fail at this. I can't pass it. So I'm going to be dealt 2D4 combat damage. Oh, and I got rid of my blessing. Yeah, so 2, 5 total damage. So um, I'm going to have to bury this mad half. Well, wait a minute. If you're putting anyway, this card is damaged by two. Okay, well actually I'll do this instead. I'll use I'll reveal. Well, I can't play two armors. That's right. I have to only do one. Okay, so yeah, I'll I'll uh, banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you back to zero. If you're proficient with heavy armors, bury this card instead. So oh, okay, so I'll it gets bury buried. It. Yeah. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Okay. Let's put that. Sorry. <laughs> All yeah. right, so it's another henchman. This is Crow Food Grawl, and he is a combat 13. Damage belt dealt by Crow Food is increased by 2. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location. So. All right, heavy crossbow. Let's do this. I'm thinking, uh, since this is important, I'm going to just go ahead and discard this codex. Does that give you an additional D6? Yes. Yep, yep. All right, so that'll give you a total of a plus four. So you got to roll a nine. Yep. Nope, nope, an eight. That's right. No, no, you no. Got that, right? no. This my weapon doesn't have a plus one now. So. Uh, oh, but I thought plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. Yes, you're right. Plus four. Okay, so. let's go. All right, so you need a nine, huh? There you go. Got you it. Got a nine and one dice. Okay. <laughs> so now you have to succeed at a wisdom or survival six check. Okay. 
Recharge this card. Add one d6 to your non-combat intelligence or wisdom check. Okay. Okay. So you got to get a six, um, and I could use another blessing if we need to. So. Uh, well, my my wisdom, I would I would have to get a six with these two dice. Let's do it. I'll uh, use that one to give you an additional d6. Okay. Scared me there for a minute. Okay, so the woods have now been officially closed. Because I rolled uh, a one. No effect with the closing, so. All right, good job. Good stuff. All right, y'all done? Yes. Oh, I forgot to shuffle this thing back in, didn't I? It doesn't say banish now the trap. Now I've got my something. wisdom blessing. Yeah, that figures right. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I'm thinking about moving away from here and going over here to the farmhouse. That's fine, and then I can move yeah, over there. So. So. All right. Potion of Healing, uh, an Intelligence Craft 5. My Intelligence is a uh, D6, I believe, yeah. So, hmm. Recharge this card to add 1D6 to your Combat, Intelligence, or Wisdom check. I'm thinking I might do that, because banish this card and choose a character at your location to shuffle 1D4 random cards from his discard pile. That'd be two Blessings in my discard right now. I'm going to do it. So, recharge this card to add 1D6 to your... Non-combat intelligence or wisdom check. There we go. I got it. All right. So now I can use this thing. So I recharged her. Now I'm going to banish it and go ahead and use it. Now, do you think I should wait, though? Maybe I should wait one more turn. Well, I could just wait one more turn. Yeah, in case you roll a three or four. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll wait. So, okay. Your turn. An acolyte, uh, you don't need her. Just, what's the point? She doesn't even let you explore your location. Okay. So. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, a belt of incredible dexterity. You can use that. You fill this card to add one to your dexterity check. You may play another item on this check. Well. Oh, it only adds one. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's not as good as I was hoping. So, my uh, dexterity is a D8. Um, it would actually be kind of cool for you, though, because you fight with dexterity, so. And I did get it, so, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, it's kind of hard to... I don't to... know, I already have the snakeskin tunic. I've got so many items, it's... Uh, i got to figure out what I'm going to do here, because i got too much stuff. So I guess I'll discard that. I'm going to go ahead and use my potion of healing. And I only got one item, so... It, um, you didn't have to discard that, did you? Because you have to discard down at the end of your turn. Yeah, I mean, I had... Well, oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because yeah. I could have I could have held on to it by using the potion, banishing that. All right. And then, uh, I see what you're saying, duh. And then this would be just... One of these will be shuffled into my deck here. So it was the normal blessing. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so now it is your turn. That's me, that's me, that's me. Oh. <laughs> Chainmail. Uh, don't really need it. Constitution Fortitude 3. My constitution is a D6, so. I got it. Okay. Oh, congratulations. You have Chainmail. Yay. <laughs> Y'all done? Yes. A ghoul. He is a combat 11. So let's see, I'll use my flaming mace and let's see here. Um, I'll do my d10 and a d8 and all I need to do is get a four. So he is defeated. All right, and Carmen. Now that's a new card, look at that. Look at the difference of that. Yeah. That, yeah. I see it that time. What did I do here? You there picked up your blessing? Yes, I did. <laughs> We're having trouble with the cards, aren't I'm not we? having any troubles. <laughs> blessing of Iomedi. Okay, so this is a Charisma 4 or a Divine 5, so Charisma 4 for you. Alright, my Charisma is a D6. And what does it do? It adds to your Charisma check, but you've already got one, so. Alright. And you got it. <laughs> you can use it to explore. Sure. It's a new card. It's a cat. It I've is a. Been discarding in two different. Oh, this is going to be for spells. 
Wisdom, Survival, Intelligence, Arcane 8. Hey, I want to make you my cat! <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a um, fairy tale thing. If anybody <laughs> watches fairy tale, they would still know that. Um, You're not going to be able to... He's not going to be useful at all to you. Okay. Except I mean, he, he can let you explore your location, but I don't even think you can get him, though, can you? I could if I used my blessing to get him, oh. but then I would just have to, you know, pass him on to somebody else. That doesn't make so. any sense to do that. Okay. All right, we're kind of running out of time here. we got a one, oh, two, boy. three, four, five, six, seven, eight more turns, and, and that, then that's it. That holy candle didn't help us any. No, but I do have two items in my hand. I'm going to go over here and... Uh, because I can now get rid of this, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, it's closed this location, so. Okay, spyglass. Well, I could even this one. So it's a wisdom perception four. My uh, wisdom is a d4, so. And I did not get it, so. Okay. Okay, Carmen. It is All right. the henchman. Another henchman. All right, so he is a check to defeat. 10 and then a 13. If you defeat the Hound, who is the first one you fight, the difficulty to defeat Ruckus is, D is decreased by 2. So, okay. Defeat the Hound. He's a check 10. We'll start there. That's weird. Yep. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go with my heavy crossbow. Okay, so that'll be a 10 and a 12. And then... You sh certainly should recharge. This is kind of important. I'm thinking about discarding. Um, now, this is you must succeed at a dexterity or stealth six check. W but your dexterity stealth is, is plus four, right? Yes. Okay. We got a great so, chance of that happening then. Yeah. Um, so, I will go ahead and discard that. All right. So, I've got plus two, plus three, plus four. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you need to get a six with all those. All right, so you got, got the hound. All right. all right, so the hound is the first one you fought, and it says if um, if you defeat the hound, the difficulty to defeat Ruckus is decreased by two, so he's only an 11. So go through that exact same process, and... Uh, uh, okay, this time I've got one, two, three, four, and... Maybe recharge the heavy crossbow? Is that what you're thinking, or...? Well... Oh, you're thinking the Blessing? If I use the Blessing... Um... Yeah, I can recharge the Heavy Crossbow. So, yeah, take one of those away, and then I've got... Plus four, again. Plus five. five. Plus five. Yeah. Okay. Got, got it! Him. Okay. So, now you can attempt to close down the location, which is a... Dexterity or Stealth 6 check. Okay, so my Dexterity. I've got to get a 2. <laughs> 6. There you go. Oh, I was holding my breath, I man. know, I know. All Tell right, me about so it. Don't roll a 1. Don't roll a 1. When you end your turn here, you may bury a card from your hand to recharge a card from your discard pile. So, something to think about, I guess. Alright, so um, I will be able to close down this location, and we know that She's here. She has to be here. So, uh, what? A holy candle. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. So, when you end your turn here, you may bury a card from your hand to recharge a card from your discard pile. Your discard pile. Oh, That's buried. Shoot. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, oh, a battered chest. So, it is a dexterity to stable 10 or a strength melee 8. Well, I've got my masterwork tools. So, um,. All Recharge right. this card to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty is 14 or lower. Yeah, that works. So if defeated, add one D4 random items from the box to your hand. Oh, well, this is kind of cool, cool because I'm going to do this to uh, banish one of them then. So a D4. Let's see how many. There's three random items. So let's just take the top three. Let's see what happens there. I have another belt of incredible dexterity. Wow. And two caltrips. What are the chances? Well, I guess the... Oh, those caltrips are so valuable. You don't want to banish those. Well, the good thing is <laughs> I will banish the caltrip, which will close down this location now. Um, and then at the end of my turn, I may move. So, I'll... no, no, I won't move over there yet, just in case. Now I need to discard down. So, <laughs> I can't believe I've got all this stuff. 
Okay, so I'm going to discard both of these. So, in fact, I'm going to discard that one too. That way I can draw. It's and useless. him as well. I just want to yeah. draw three new cards. So. Okay. All right. So, Carmen, you're up. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Do I'll this. flip your card. And there she is. Okay. Oh, shoot. Uh, one thing we forgot to do is that uh, if you defeat a henchman, place him next to the stack here. So she's going to actually be more powerful for us to be able to defeat. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. So she is actually going to be a plus three for us to be able to oh, defeat boy. her. Yeah. Um, so it says that before the encounter, each character at this location summons and encounters an ancient skeleton henchman. Well, you can just evade it. Yes. So no sense in that. Okay. Um, the first time in this scenario that anyone would defeat Mama Grawl, she is undefeated. Oh, no. Okay, so question is she's undefeated, so then that means that we don't get to close down the location then? Um, I guess not, right? So that means we'd have to fight her again. All right, so you have to get a combat 19, 20, 21, 22. A combat 22 to you, Carmen. Whoa. She is not an easy gal to, to fight, girl. Wow. Okay. Well, let's start adding up the dice. I've got a D12 plus 2, a D8 plus 1, a D12 plus 2. Where's my D8? Then I've got another plus 1. Um, I've got a Blessing, which I can discard for another D12. And then I can discard this Staff of Minor Healing for 2D6s plus 1. So that gives you a total of plus five, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yes. And, okay, yeah, okay. So she is a 20, 22, so you need to get an 18 with all them dice. There you go. You got her. Woo! Good job. Okay, unfortunately, she's not defeated, though. No. And I guess that means we don't get to close down this location either, which is... What happens to her, then? Does she just she... goes shuffled back in, I guess. It's kind of lame, man. Uh, do you think I should use my blessing to explore again? You'd have to possibly fight her again, and you're kind of weak. I wouldn't do it. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, but... We're, we've got enough cards to be able to defeat her. We'll get her. Don't worry about it, hon. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of weak, but I'll just discard cards. It's... Oh, I see what you're saying. You would just... Yeah. No, I, I, I don't know. If I had a blessing as well, I'd say, yeah. I'll... No, don't worry about it. Oh, I've got Poog now. Can beat her now. All right, okay. here I go. Well, there she is again. Okay, <laughs> she was so um, we both have to uh, summon and encounter an ancient skeleton, which means you just get to. I aren't they only like a combat eight? If I remember correctly, they're only a combat eight, which means. Oh, you should have kept your caltrips. <laughs> all I have to do is roll a one to uh, be able to. Okay, it. so. It's no point okay. in you fighting it either. So, uh, All right. one quick question. I have the Medusa mask. When you encounter a monster, you may display this card and put the monster atop it. The monster is neither defeated nor undefeated. At the end of your turn, put the monster on top of its original location deck and bury this card. Necessary? Uh, I, I don't think it I is. I think you can beat her. Maybe. Yeah, I think I can. Too. I have a question. Yeah. I have Poog, and it says recharge this card to add three with the fire trait to a combat check. Mm, I still think it... I don't know. I don't think so. Um, okay. Well, the good thing is, though, you do have a blessing to help me. So, yeah. um, I will use my... Looks like I'm probably going to use my D... My long sword. So, it'll give me a D10. I will get a D8. And then I'm going to recharge it for an additional D6. Okay, so I'm adding another D10 with my blessing. Yes. I can also give you another D4 plus one. It's a, at another location or same oh, location? Oh, it's at another okay. location. So I'm not rolling a bazillion dice here, but I do have a plus seven. Um, so that means that she will be a, what, a 22 minus seven. So i got to get a 15 with these four dice. Ah, you can do that. Boy, I sure hope so. <laughs> We're going to find out real quick, ain't we? So, 
Here we go. 8, 9, 10, 21. Woo! Right Mama girl, you just been defeated. That was it. Woo! Okay, so uh, Mammy Graw has been defeated. We uh, kicked that fatty right out the door. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> she wouldn't leave. Um, so, okay, uh, some of you might be wondering what happened to the last scenario. Um, why we skipped? Well, we didn't, well, we kind of skipped. But what happened was, was that both were filmed... This one was still on the camera. The other one was already uploaded to the computer. Computer totally crashed. Totally died. Died. <laughs> <laughs> it died. And uh, so we, to we we lost the file. I mean, it shows up as a picture because I tried to back up the files and it shows up a picture, but I can't get it to the work video. The video is not there. It's I not don't there. know what happened. Um, we've tried seances, all kinds of things. It is not coming back, man. Like we had to restore <laughs> to factory settings, so that yeah, was a big deal. It was a big deal. We lost a lot of stuff. So, okay. Um, nitty gritty, all right. Um, the last scenario, uh, car you're kind of wondering what did we upgrade and all that. Skill or our card feats. Both of us upgraded on our card feats weapons. So, Carmen yes. can hold four weapons, and I believe I'm at like six weapons I can hold now. Um, she took the snakeskin tunic that you saw in this video. I took everything else. With the exception, I don't think I took the Sheridan medallion. I don't think I took that. Oh, yeah? I, well, I already remember. had I one remember. of those. So, um, I think because we only have two players, you know, sometimes. Yeah, but I did take the uh, the, the Impaler of Thorns, that, that spear, which you guys will eventually see that pop up. Um, okay, Mamie Grawl. Did we do that correctly? Because um, it says she's undefeated. So, okay, do we just fight her? She's undefeated yeah. and we just shuffle her back in? Or should we have closed that location down? I, I'm assuming undefeated gets shuffled back in. You undefeated, just do the undefeated. Same, yeah, yeah, same thing as you always do. Um, also, the base. Okay, we want to make sure we're going to be calling these cards out, uh, banishing them out of the game correctly. Um, right. Okay, we understand that if we encounter them and we acquire them, uh, we can banish them. Or if we even encounter them, we can decide to get rid of them. But what happens to the cards that are left in the location decks that are basics? And we close them. Can we banish those basics as well? And what about some of these cards? They don't even say basic on them. We don't even know which ones, My you know. My thought is if it's a basic, say, a basic weapon that I didn't want, and I'm going to put it back in the box, it gets banished from the game instead well, of put back in the box. as a boon, we get to decide if we want to. As a bane, they're automatically. Okay. Yeah, that's what it says. So. But if we encounter it and it would go back in the box, then, then we banish it. Yeah. Okay. But, uh... Tim thinks maybe the ones left in the location deck were not, we're not sure. We're not sure. So help us out on that. Leave comments below. Um, is that everything? We cover everything? Uh, I think that's everything. Something about I got a new ally. Yay, me! Oh, yeah! And he's yeah. going to work out great for you, I think, um, because you're always going to be able to evade if he does turn into the Sandpoint yeah. Devil, which I was really anxious to beat up that Sandpoint Devil. <laughs> I don't know why. I just really wanted to fight it. I can beat him up, too. Well, yeah, actually, I think you're stronger than I am. Urgh. That's the Take that. She is. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, now I've got an item and an ally that can both look at cards on top of the deck, so that's going to help You're gonna us. you going to be cycling them. We're not yeah. going to be, uh, you know, biting our nails running out of time as often. Yeah, and what's cool about him is is that you use him, and then he just goes back onto your top of your deck, so you just draw him right back up and use him again, and then, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. All right, anyways, guys, hey, we appreciate you guys watching as usual. We'll probably have another one up by the end of the week, so keep your eyes out for that. We're trying to get up to the current adventure deck which is the stone giant guys and uh so you know we'll try to get back on the uh back in the saddle here and get some of these pumped out so that's it so as usual thanks for watching stay after the credits you'll see which cards we carry over it did cut off because we lost uh, uh battery life on the camera died so it cut off right at the very end but <laughs> you guys get the gist of what all we kept as usual bye bye, bye. check out griffin gaming for new releases and pre-orders enter the promo code gray elephant and receive five percent off of your order So first off, uh, let's start with weapons. I can hold six. I've got all six of my weapons already here. And I can hold four. And it looks like this throwing axe is not as good as my other weapons. They all add a D8 or a D10. Yeah. So all right. we'll get rid of that. Throwing axe, go bye-bye. All right, next, uh, spells, neither one of us. Armors, I can hold three. I've already got those. I can only hold one, and I'll go with my snakeskin tunic. All right, 
Um, items, I can hold two, and I've got a bazillion items here because of these belts of incredible dexterity. Um, obviously, I'll just toss one to you, so if you want to decide if you want one or not. Um, and then I know I don't want caltrops, those are going to go away. I like my Medusa mask because it allows me to evade masterwork tools. i got to keep those two items, so make your decision. You have a bunch of uh, belts of dexterity. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of nice because you can play more than one item on the same check. Yeah. Um, but I do have my armor that adds one to my dexterity. Yeah. Then again, this would, would add, add two if I had it and my armor. So that's exactly that's right. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, well, I, would probably, I know I don't want to get rid of no, this or this. Yeah, both of them need or to stay. this. What was, what was the other third thing you kept? Um, spyglass. Okay. So if okay. you want those, I would probably keep the Masterwork tools. I'd say maybe the disc, the codex goes bye-bye and keep one of those. What do you think? Those would help you in combat. Yeah. Um, the codex. The only reason I'm, I am hesitant to get rid of it is I don't know what's going to come up in the future as a boon. Nah. You know, that I'm going to want really badly. I, I think but... the belt's better. Okay. I really do. So there we go. Okay. All right. So uh, allies, um, I can only keep two. I have three. Hey, um, I'm, I'm going to give you this Islardi guy because if he does summon the Sandpoint Devil, you uh -huh. can just uh, evade it. But it's always going to let you, always, every turn, you're going to be able to look at the top of your card, of your deck. That's pretty powerful, you have to admit. Um, okay, but that's what the Spyglass does. No, th this is better. They reveal it. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, now, I'm probably going to keep my Sage. You should probably keep Poog. How many can you keep total? Only Alex? two. Only two? Yeah. What's he do? He adds... 1d6 to your check to acquire an ally. He's really not that good. The only reason I had him was so that I could put Poog back into my hand for my discard pile. Um, well, I'd be willing to take him. And then maybe this guy just goes sayonara. So. He allows you to put your other ally back in your hand. Okay, okay. yeah. So, uh... And then she goes. Yeah, I have a blessing for that. Yeah. So. Okay. Alright, um, now I can keep four, four blessings. So I'll just keep these four and the blessing of God will go back. I can keep four. I have two.